What is going on guys, Carlos here from Everything Tech and in this video we're going to remove the FRP on a Vodafone Smart Ultra 7 with Android 6 and it's also called VFD 700. It might work on other models but I can't guarantee you that it will. It needs to have Android 6 to begin with. If it's got Android 7 there will be a further guide coming up with Android 7 on how to remove it on Android 7. But for now, let's stick with this guide. So as you can see, I can't really go any further and uh, my account is locking at the FRP. So as you can see, I've connected to Wi-Fi, but uh, uh, now I'm going to add another network. So click on add another network and then write some random characters in, in the box in the network name. Click on to select them and then a menu will appear. You see the three dots on, on the right hand side? Click on those three dots and then click on assist and that will launch Google search. So now on Google search, we're going to find uh, Chrome. Chrome is already installed. So start by uh, typing CH and then Chrome should appear. Click on Chrome. And now we're going to download um, a, specific, uh, a specific app. So it's called Test DPC. And at the time of this tutorial, which is uh, September 2018, is version 4.0.6. So I use APK Mirror, but you can use another mirror. It doesn't really matter where you get it from as long as it's the right app. So test DPC. So just slide down and you'll see a download link if you're using the same the same uh, mirror as I am. So click on download APK and now you're going to have to authorize a, a couple of things. Uh, the first one is to the storage to where it's going to be stored, which is going to be on your device. So click OK and then uh, the pop up click open. And now we're going to install the first one, as you can see, right there. And install. As you can see, I've already had another app in there, but we're going to download it again. We've got to go through the motions in order to get this all sorted out. So now we're going to click on open and then select set up device owner and set up. Set up again and then click OK. And finally, you will go through the device setup of the DPC and it's going to kick us up to search again. So in search, we're going to go into the settings app. So click on search, click on uh, type in settings. As you type in S, your settings should just come up. And then we're going to go to the bottom and about the phone so you can see exactly what phone it is. So it's on Android version 6 and it's the VFD 700. So go back once and then go back up and reset and that should reset all of the fa to factory settings, removing FRP, removing every single thing, like if you, like if you never had it. So once um, the factory reset is done, I sped up most of this part here. You should be able to just use your phone and get all the latest updates and, and put in your um, Google account because it's going to be completely clear. These phones are relatively easy to do uh, because obviously they're an older version of Android but I have also updated it to the latest version I, and I use some Vodafone phones with Android 7 because I don't think there are any with Android 8 but with Android 7 and those are much much harder to uh, to remove but I, I've also made a guide on how to remove it the FRP on uh, those phones as well this setup um, uh, process takes quite a long time I had to speed up all of this section here because easily took 10 minutes to do so now as you can see i don't need to connect to wi-fi i've reset the whole phone so there's no network saved you can just go ahead and skip and then just set up the phone as if it was your you know the first time that you're setting up uh, and that should be really it there's not much more to it on this phone but like I said, I'm going to release another video with a much, much harder version to uh, remove the FRP Android 7 on these phones. Well, but for now, uh, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video or if this video helped you, please give us a like. And please consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. There's many more videos to come. I'm still waiting for the S9 to reach me, but that should be with me uh, the next week. So I should be able to make a video shortly after that. I've also got a couple more phones, the S7, which I am going to explain uh, on Android 8 to explain how to remove the Google account. And I've also got another phone um, that I've got on me now, which is the Pixie 4, the Alcatel Pixie 4 on Android 6, which is fairly easy and you don't need a computer as well. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.